anything uh, from your female nature. And what I mean by this is um, I really want women to know that it's very important to do what we're doing as ambassadors or um, as one is doing or in, in the nuclear sector or wherever you are working knowing that it's very important for a woman to be able to feel successful as a woman meaning that she has been able to develop you know in all stages of her life if that is important for her i remember at some point in my career and i was first secretary at the embassy in london talking to my mom i spoke to her every day and i said well i love my i love my work but i uh, but i don't have a partner and you know and a boyfriend and it's been so many years and so on and she said my dear, you chose a career that is incompatible with marriage. So either you decide one thing or you decide the other. I want really women to know that they can have everything. In um, Mexico, because probably uh, we're Catholic, I don't know what is it. My mom came back and said, you know, you are always, every. you make one step further, you made progress in these, you were successful in these, and you always want something else. You are never, Settle down with what you have, you know? I mean, keep on complaining about that, you know? In life, you cannot have everything together. Well, I want really young women to understand that this is really possible and that it's very important because I don't think it's worth getting to the point of becoming the gender champion and the empowering and this and this unless you feel that you have already had the chance to, to evolve and to develop in all the stages as a woman. I think that is very important. I don't want to see, like I have many friends, uh, which I feel sad in a way, um, that you get to the position um, where you are at the top, but in a way you're alone in many other ways. So if you're okay, that's fine, but otherwise I just want young women to know. So coming back to, the, um, to being the co-chair with the Australian Permanent representative um, of women in nuclear. We know that we're living in a time in which it's very important also to have women on top positions because what, what they are bringing together uh, to these positions, uh, being well-rounded, prepared, and so on. If you ask me exactly um, what are you doing in uh, women in nuclear, I say, well, we're doing only baby steps, and we need creativity and imagination. Um, for, it's not only, I don't think that it's only about having a statement, a statement being uh, read at the Board of Governors, but I think it's important that we can really reach out to the young girls, uh, for example, I don't know, through Vogue or any other media, and different ways, creative, creative ways, of what the nuclear sector represent in terms of opportunities, in terms of uh, seeing more, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the the big idea of what is the nuclear sector and why is it important? Why the IEA is doing a great job in benefit uh, uh, of world peace and development and uh, medical care and many others. I think that we have not really been able to get that message abroad. I think it's important that we really do uh, uh, a very important work in terms of reaching out. So what we've been doing is really baby steps. We all already got around, um, I think I mentioned, 26 countries who are members and who have joined the group. I think it's important to have clear ideas. I don't want to be very ambitious because I think that things should be done properly and in the right uh, way. And I don't want to have every time that I sit and see that we have like 30 points to, to, to deal with them. I said, well, no, I think it's better to have three or four and then do this. I invite all of you um, really to become members of this. I think it's important because I believe that the female energy should be felt all around because I do believe that we have many things really to, to bring with us besides being uh, well prepared for the positions and so on. But um, being a gender champion and being a, a co-chair of women in nuclear means that we are thinking about really what would make a difference besides, uh, besides seeing more women at um, 
senior levels at the, uh, at the organization, at the agency. I think it's important really to reach out about what is the importance of the nuclear sector and what is the importance of, these, uh, of, of the role of the agency, which is uh, very important, probably not very well known uh, besides our small world. And um, so that's where we really need you on board in order to have very clear ideas, and uh, to go, I prefer to go and do baby steps and uh, then moving and trying to do many things and in the end not accomplishing a lot of them. So uh, you are uh, most welcome, so any one of you who wants to join, um, we would love to see you there and we need of course ideas and, and creative uh, energy as well, you know, to do uh, nice things. Uh, Thank you. For women in Thank, Thank you. you very much. And Gwen, one final remark. Um, what would, message would you have for young people aspiring to, in your footsteps, either uh, in a technical role or from leadership abilities? What can they learn from your experience? What would be the one takeaway? That, um, for me, the key to the puzzle is authenticity. And with that, your, I'd like to end with you. What do you see as the greatest opportunity for impact and on an individual level, what do you hope will be the main takeaway, the one key message about leadership that you would like our audience to take away with them today? If I'm allowed to, I would actually like to raise two points. <laughs> one is actually a comment on, on you, Alicia. I, <clears throat> I fully endorse your statement that uh, a, a woman can have a, a marriage and a leadership career, right? Because quite frankly, men apparently can. <laughs> right? so it's like... <laughs> and then you think about how is it possible, right? And, and you look at yourself and you actually find out chances are you have a great support, right? Sheryl Sandberg uh, once said that the reason that she is having such a wonderful career in IT is, is in large part also because her husband uh, allowed supported her in having that, right? So, uh, so, 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 so maybe to, to view a, a career also, and at least for those who, who are in relationships, as, as, a, as a tandem or a team effort, I, I think is, 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 is helpful, right? The, the, the one thing that I would like to add is, I'm so pleased that today we have a discussion, a discussion about leadership and, and, and gender equality, and it's not just women in the room, right? Because quite frankly, because quite frankly, that I have really experienced more than once, right? So, and and what is behind that for me is that we need to reach this point where we can be brutally honest and open about the issues that are on the table, right? And, and I believe this, at the end of the day, actually will go both ways, right? So, but, but, if, but if we live in two separate worlds, one of those who champion <coughs> gender equality and then some other world, and, and we cannot connect with these initiatives, then we, we essentially go nowhere. What we're really doing is just pitching to the choir. Right. So, so I, I, I just would yeah. so like want us to, to be frank, blunt, uh, have these conversations also maybe sometimes in a harsh way, sometimes also recognize uh, that in this case uh, the, the choice may have to, to, to go to a but I, I want this honesty in the conversation around it. Thank you. Now 